Okay, so um, last year when I tried to attempt the Wonderland Trail, when I weighed my pack, it was just under 18 pounds. Total weight, four days of food and two bottles of liter of water was 33 and a half. This year, um, I decided to buy some ultralight gear and last uh, weekend I ordered uh, through a cottage company here in uh, Maine, not here in Maine, but um, the cottage company is from Maine. And then package came in last Thursday, uh, went to check my mailbox, um, my package was not in my mailbox. So I figured um, it should be on the bottom of all the, the mailbox are, but I didn't get a key. So the next day on a, on, on a Friday, I talked to the managers who, if they could open the, the big mailbox uh, storage room, um, and my package was still wasn't there. So I emailed um, Saturday morning to the company that, hey, this is what's going on. I have no idea where my package is. Luckily, during the morning of that Saturday, I talked to the mailman, hey, did you accidentally um, put the key into a wrong residence box, the mailbox. And so he opened all of the mailbox and my package was still not here. So I asked him what could be the reason for not having a package here, even though it says it was delivered here on Thursday, 11 o'clock in the morning. He said he apologized and they may have accidentally put the key in, in the residence and to submit a uh, lost package form with United States Postal Service, which I did. And I sent the email of the attachment, a screenshot of the package that was lost to the company. And nice thing about the company that I purchased through, they, they're sending me a, a whole new package and with a tracking number, of course, everything else. And they were very understandable to my situation because it was expensive. Uh, gear that I bought and I'll show you guys that if I if I do another vlog video for that so yeah so I just want to thank um, Dylan with Hyperlight uh, Mountain Gear they were very nice and then even though I already have two packs <laughs> uh, the Sierra Designs Flux Capacitor and the Masterop um, oh, I forgot what the name of the pack is now uh, the Crown the Crown uh, Crown 2 um, I just because of that, I don't know, I'm thinking of just uh, selling it and getting a Hyperlite uh, 3400 Windwider for uh, for my pack for to make it, I don't know, I guess a little bit more lighter, but I just want to say thank you to, to Hyperlite for doing that. <laughs> this is like the weirdest thing ever. So in conclusion to my lost package, um, you thought people stealing packages from porch houses. I just think that somebody in this residence where I live got the key, took my package, decided to just, just keep it. You know, didn't even like bother turning it to the office and say, hey, this is the wrong package that I have. So. What are you gonna do? Because people are sometimes are not honest. That's what happens. Okay, I gotta go because it's like three in the morning. A couple things I got from from the mail. Um, I got from from Hyperlite. I upgraded to my regular stuff sacks to human fiber. So I got the, the kit here. It comes in the large, uh, the nano, medium, and the small. So I got these in gray. And I'll show you why these don't have, like, have that gray. Okay, and this was at, at the last um, drop from Mass Drop. Um, you see there's Mass Drop right there. Um, three pack of Dental socks got it for 45. Had a coupon for about 25 off, but because of their um, 
issues with the company. Um, they gave everybody uh, 2250, so it came out to uh, I don't have the receipt on here, but it came out to like eleven dollars and twenty-five cents for this whole pack. So yeah, and another package from uh, from Hot Delight. And this is the one that was a replacement from the package that was stolen. And I got the large, large pod. And then, oh nice, thanks for the sticker. And uh, the case for the phone, put in my pack. And I'm gonna show you the pack that I, I got. Uh, I'm not just, I don't know, I do not know which pack to take with me to the Wonderland Trail. Is, um, this is the Granite Gear. I did get this from Mascrop. This is Mascrop right here. It's a 55 liter pack, if I remember correctly. Um, and I already uh, installed that on there. It was pretty easy to put on. Nice adjustable hip foot belt. Uh, and still the uh, Osprey water barrel adapter on there. And then, of course, it does come with a brain. I uh, don't think I'm going to use it. Know what's in here. Oh, just a couple of things. I took some of the straps off that I don't need. So, yeah, this is um, really nice, really big. It does fit the BB500 canister on here. Um, the only problem is with this here, these uh, side pouch pickup pockets are really, really small. Uh, so, but um, I really like it. It's only 120 um, I got from Mastrop. Then I also bought a second backpack. And the reason why I got this one, this is CR Designs Capacitor. Was the disability from going a 40 liter to a 60 liter? Now, I like this a lot. Um, I uh, bought a Justin Weld uh, phone, phone holder. Put on a really nice. And I think about this, the hip belt pouches are way bigger. Uh, I think this is a little more comfortable. I can't tell. Um, it's got a roll top design, but like I said, you go from a 40 to a 60 liter, and I really like this. Um, but I just don't know how it would hold up in a long distance uh, hike. So, I think I'm going to use this one. Um, and use a uh, compacted bag as a waterproofness on here. I, do, I just, I just like it. It's just, it's really coffee is really good. Um, this is the hydration bladder holder right here. I'm not gonna. I, I, I use this, but not for that purpose. I think I just put like my little things in here, so it's all like easily stored. And the pouch should fit in either of these two. So I'm just debating. Which one to take? So this is also $120 on mass truck. So technically I got two backpacks. <laughs> and with the customer service that Hyperlight gave me, I'm deciding, I'm debating to buy their 43 uh, model uh, wind rider. Uh, well, it's because it's, it's Cuban fiber or Dyneema, whatever you call it. And it's completely 100% water resistant, not waterproof, but I don't know, and I'm debating. Let's see, what is my stick, my, my thing at? Put it in my pocket. Right? It's under this one here. Debating to put one of these pouches. I need a run, so I guess I could, I could put either one. I just don't know how well this would stick on here. So, yeah, 